you're new to the channel, I paint monsters for a living. And we are here at a haunt about 45 minutes from the house, getting things done. We are in the last room. And before we get into that, I'm gonna throw in some pictures of the finished graveyard. We got done distressing, take care of the skeletons, and doing all the cobwebbing. So I'll show you some of those. And then on to this bad boy. Now we've already done some of the painting. You can see the tan and kind of the brown that we sit there and mixed for some contrast. And then we're going to detail it up and stain it up and make it look all cool. So I really appreciate you coming on board. Please subscribe. And uh, hey, there'll be some uh, videos in the description below. Also a PayPal link if you'd like to support the channel. That way you can make a gift without having to be charged every month. or just be a one time. And uh, whatever you'd like to do. Really appreciate you watching. And uh, hey, we'll see you on the next video. You take care. And on a special note, Stewardism Shopify is coming soon. So if you've ever wanted some of my artwork, you can get it printed on just about anything. So check that out. Um, when I have that all taken care of, my wife is working on it right now, we will be putting in the description below um, each and every video so you have easy access. Thank you, people. Take care. And on a, a side note, I got nailed yesterday with some hot glue. All right, so remember people, when you're doing this cobwebbing, <laughs> you're gonna get hurt, okay? So, I mean, it was on me for only a couple seconds and it ate right through. I peeled it off and there it is. But we're taking wounds for the team. Yeah, so be careful. this side and this is really cool people this is a tree from the original Wizard of Oz so the owner was gonna cut this in half and sell it because it was the only way to get it out of the building and the guy actually made it called him said, oh my god don't don't kill that thing I think it's worth his weight in gold so we're gonna be touching that up as well so I get to paint a little piece of history little movie history very cool and then we have this, which is just raw foam. So we're gonna need to sit there and clean that up. Put a nice coating of uh, cement on there. My, my cement, sand, and paint mixture. And then Conquest. And then hot distressing action. And again, this is the last portion of the queue line before they even enter the haunted house. Very cool. All right, people, enjoy the rest of the video.
So using the wet on wet technique. We're trying to do the aged thing. We're trying to make sure it looks old and nasty. And I also want to make sure I had some of the other color coming through. Um, so we painted it tan and then this purplish brown for the brick on the inside on those guys as well. And that way we're able to just make a natural nastiness um, age with still bringing some of the color through. Okay, now this is using white and black, both mix 50 50 with water and spray on top of each other, a little misty with the bottle, spray again and let it overlap. And you can get this really nice um, marbling technique and uh, occasionally you'll have a thicker piece of paint that will just stick through like some of these black dots here and it just looks really sharp so I hope you guys uh, could try that at your place real simple um, just a little time consuming that's all That is it for today, people. Got her all stained up, ready to rock. I'm gonna let her dry overnight. And then come in tomorrow and conquer some more hopper gun action on these bad boys back here. And we're gonna sit there and throw down. It's gonna be an awesome time. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. And uh, hey, check out those videos in the description below. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.